This is my two week experience with the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. I got it right after they announced it at Unpacked. So let's just start off with the physical size. Now I do have smaller hands, so this phone feels gigantic. It is hard for me to naturally reach across the screen with one hand, so a lot of times I use two hands while I navigate around the phone. I am a case person, so adding one on makes this phone feel even bigger. Now I just got in Samsung's standing grip case, and I think that one is the best one for me. It's a fairly thin case, it's soft touch so it's not super slippery, and most importantly it has that loop on the back, which obviously makes it a lot easier to hold, and it doesn't scare me from dropping it. Now this year it does have a flat screen, and personally I do prefer it, my first Samsung phone was the S7 an edge and I never really liked a curved screen. I did get used to it sure but of course we all have our own preferences. Next is the S Pen which I barely touch. I may need it at random times to do business like signing contracts but honestly I would rather do that on my computer. And of course I can use it to write down notes but I've been typing on Notion for so long that's just my first instinct. It's just to type down whatever I think of instead of writing. The only thing I can probably find it pretty useful is using it as a Bluetooth shutter when I take my pictures or video while I'm away from the phone. So I would say 95% of the time, it's not going to be used. Next up is the AI features and the one that really pops up the most that I use is the circle to search. But that's not every day though, it's only during those random times so this function is pretty situational. But I am glad how it's so easy to use and very easy to get to. And the other AI features is not something I would use every day, maybe when I travel out the country then it's more useful. So having that in mind, this is the phone I would grab for when I travel. The next topic is the camera experience. The new 5 X is definitely something that I prefer because I just feel like for Mojo Watch 5X, it's more than enough for the everyday things you need to take pictures of. And even though the S23 has that dedicated 10X, using that 10X in normal situations may be too zoomed in. Sure, it might be useful if you're going to a concert, but you're not going to do that every single day. The only time I naturally use Beyond 5X is if I want to see a sign from far away that I can't physically see myself. So basically, once I'm at 10, 30, or even 100X, is more of a tool than using it to take a good picture. The only thing that really stands out to me as a struggle is when I'm taking pictures in lower light situations, mainly being indoors, because it can come out pretty blurry if the person is moving or if you're moving. And I think the best camera in those situations to use is the Pixel. But overall, I think the cameras on the Samsung phones is the best well-rounded ones for the casual person. The pictures just have a nice vibrancy, it comes out pretty poppy, and it's ready to share on social media. And the video quality does pretty good overall during daytime and nighttime. Now for all the generic stuff like the specs, it's all top class, so you're pretty good on that end. Therefore, you could do everything you need to do like browsing the internet to playing intense games. If you're coming from a Samsung phone, the ecosystem and experience is mostly the same. If you're new to it, then you do have a lot of customization and personalization. So if you need that or want that in a phone, then look up into it and this might be the one for you. For the most part, I've been using the regular or plus versions in the past. This is my first ultra experience. And I gotta say, I would recommend to the average consumer, the regular S24 or the plus version will be just good enough for you. If you really need the S Pen, the bigger screen, and even the better telephoto lens, then yeah, maybe that would justify it and the Ultra may be the one for you. So that is my two weeks of experience using the S24 Ultra. And if I were to buy this phone, the only thing that would make me want to go to the Ultra is the telephoto lenses. But other than that, I would be just fine using the Plus version.